This is the new Mazda 2. I know what you're thinking. I didn't know there was an old Mazda 2. Well, in a sector dominated by Fiestas and Corsas, it never really made much of an impact. But the new version deserves some recognition. It's basically slimmer of the year. Significantly, the 2 is much lighter than its predecessor. Let's just say the dieting regime has been obsessive. Mazda haven't said obvious stuff like, ooh, the battery's a bit heavy, let's get rid of that. Oh, no. They said, let's use lighter magnets in the speakers. Now, that's attention to detail. And by being smarter with the way the electrics are routed, they've saved two kilos of wiring. That's quite a lot. That much, in fact. And you know when fat people lose a lot of weight and they get a bit of surplus skin and they look a little bit ill? Well, they've avoided that with the two by making it very taut and actually a bit smaller. I actually quite fancy it. You lost a bit of weight. You look clean. Compared to its lardy rivals, the 2 is on average about 200 kilos lighter. And to show the benefits of that weight saving, we've got Britain's strongest man. But we're not interested in his weightlifting, just his weight. <laughs> Having Terry on board will make the Mazda as heavy as its fatter rivals. And we're going to find out how it affects performance. We'll do three tests to see what difference the weight makes. Test number one, a simple 0-60 challenge. First, we'll see how quick the two is in standard skinny form. I've taken traction off because I don't want it. It's supposed to do 60 miles an hour in 10.4 seconds, so I haven't got long to talk to you. It's got about 100 brake. I'm leaving it in second, 62. There we go. Easy, effortless. In its lean, mean, normal condition, the two records a time of 10.5 seconds. That's quick, especially at 117 top end. It's got a very slick little gear change, nice and close to the steering wheel. Doesn't feel too harsh, really smooth. Feels like it could be quite a lot of fun. Mm. But what if the two was as heavy as its chubbier competitors? It's time for Terry to act as ballast. I feel so small compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, Terry, when I go from second to third, if I touch your leg, yeah. It's not intentional. Yeah, you're not touching me up. Here we go. Up to 6,200 into second. Should be able to do it in second. It doesn't actually feel any more sluggish, really, than when you weren't in the car. You're just about to hit the limiter. 62 now. There we go. Terry's extra weight made the Mazda a whole second slower to 60 so you can immediately see the benefits of obsessively dropping the kilos. On to test two, handling. How quickly does the bantamweight Mazda get through this slalom? Now, Mazda claim that they've really lightened this car and they've put a lot of MX-5 DNA into it, and it, it does change direction, actually, really quickly. It's very, very good. Considering it's got a high roof line, it doesn't have a great deal of body roll. That's actually pretty good. I mean, this isn't claiming to be a sports car or a hot hatch. That would keep you out of trouble. 12 seconds to beat. How would a heavier car cope? It might cause you a bit of stomach upset. The car's actually changing direction really quite quickly. Not a lot of tyre squeal. A little bit more body roll than before, but it doesn't feel like it's going to lose control, which is kind of good. Yeah. So if, we, if I was running late getting you to the gym, would be all right. And I was a minicab driver, and would you be all right with that? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no problem. At 13 seconds, the Mazda with heavy Terry on board is a second slower in the slalom. Again, Mazda's dieting proves its worth, but I've got a feeling the final test will be the most dramatic. Braking. Oh, here we go. Right, I'm going to get up to 70, and then I'm going to stop as quickly as I can. Right, 70, hard on the brakes, lots of ABS. Stops dead true, though. Quite impressive. No weaving going on there. And considering it's drums on the back, that's really good. At its fighting weight, the two stops in 25 metres. So how would the two do, had they not bothered to pare it down to the bone? It's nice to get back in here. It's warm. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> right, OK, here we go. I'm going to be hitting the brakes very soon, all right? Yep. Now. OK, that is arrow straight. A lot of jitter from the ABS, but it stops well, actually. Can you smell disc brakes? Yep. Yeah. 
The extra weight clearly affects stopping distance. From 70 miles per hour, the heavier two comes to a halt an incredible 16 metres further down the road. It shows that a low-calorie diet not only improves a car's performance, but also makes it safer.